So before this melts, I'm going to do a review of McDonald's new Oreo Fudge McFlurry here. I like the uh, I like the um, the pretzel one better. So I just had to go wash my hands, but. This is really nothing special. But since I haven't had a McFlurry in a long time, since like the beginning of this year, I just wanted to try this. Basically, I used to do this all the time when I was little. And me and my sister would do this all the time when we went to McDonald's. She would, uh, and I would both get McFlurries with Oreos and Hot Fudge. So this is something that it's like nostalgic to me because it's something that the, I used to do all the time anyway. So it's nothing really special. It's the same taste of what that was. That's back in the day when you could put whatever you wanted on your McFlurry. Now you can only put what they say you put on. It's back when McFlurries came in those, uh, the better cups, basically. Got a brain freeze. Got a brain freeze. I'm gonna eat it like a like a frosty. That's what I'm gonna review tomorrow. So it's really nothing special to me because I used to do that all the time with the flurry, McFlurry. I would do the same thing that they're doing now. I would ask for hot fudge on my Oreo McFlurry. So it's really nothing special to me. Um, it's not as good as the pretzel. The pretzel one was better. The pretzel caramel, I forgot what it was called. Pretzel McFlurry, whatever. It was back earlier this year. But anyway, I am also have a review of the new uh, Quarter Pounder. So that's coming up after this. So on a scale rating of 1 to 10, I would give this a, uh, a, a uh, 7. It's good, but it's something that I've always done basically at McDonald's. When I got a McFlurry in the past, I would get a Oreo McFlurry with a little bit of hot fudge on it. So... Something that I remember drinking, eating, whatever. So I would give it a seven. So peace.